Welcome back, everybody. Well, if you've been keeping up with the Instagram post, you know that something is gonna be changing here and on the rear. So what just came in are all the new badges from Retro Customs. Uh, Jeremy hooked it up. Look at this, exact paint, everything, all new emblems with the new tape, ready to set these in. I'm actually gonna start with the rear, and then I'm gonna head up to the front ones. Uh, I'll show you guys along the process of what it takes but if this is something you guys are looking for, definitely get in contact with us or Jeremy at Retro Customs LLC on Instagram. So I went ahead and cleaned up all the area where I'm going to be working. Um, if you guys didn't know, your tailgate and your hood on these trucks is made of aluminum. So uh, I put the tape here just to give me protection while I'm heating this up with the heat gun. And also if I need to start prying, um, I'm not actually making contact with my paint. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the heat gun and I'm going to start heating this thing. Looking at the new one, I've had a few people ask me how these are mounted. There's double-sided tape, and then you have these two alignment pins, and then you have the four clips. So essentially what we're trying to do, and this is why Jeremy recommends to order a new one, is you're gonna apply some serious heat to this thing and actually bend this thing off. Now I've seen guys use fisting string, and I'm sure if you were doing this every day at a body shop, you could probably pull these off and reuse them. But uh, disclaimer, uh, I'm just gonna take do whatever it takes to get that off and get the new one in. like with the black uh, riser out next I'm gonna reheat all this double-sided tape and we're gonna get all this off now they do make a tool for this um, it hooks up to like a drill and it spins and it literally pulls this thing off um, but right now I can see this is already coming off pretty easy so I'm gonna go ahead and continue without it but uh, I will put a link in the description for anyone that wants that tool you plan on removing more emblems and stuff, it definitely comes in handy. And that's what it looks like with the emblem double-sided tape removed. 
Again, I recommend the tool. The link will be in the description. Without using the tool, using my heat, using my fingers, and just working it, um, I would say this took me about an hour to get all of the double-sided tape off. So definitely invest in the $30 tool. That is the back badge installed. I think it turned out awesome. The color match is perfect. Absolutely perfect. What's next is I'm gonna move up to the front and I'll show you guys what this looks like. I will say these ones are a little bit tricky but way less time consuming than the rear emblem. All right, just getting home. It is 1.30 in the morning. So I think it's the perfect time to finish up the hood badges. So let's go ahead and get inside the barn, get the heat going, knock out the rest of these badges. Now for the hood badges, first thing you got to do is pop the hood. Get up underneath here so I can show you guys. So inside here, these access ports, these are what you're going to use to get to your clips to release this emblem. And it's the same on the other side as well. So it'll be these two points here. And that'll help you get this badge off. Um, I did order some new pride tools. So I'm gonna head over to the house. Uh, they got delivered uh, around 6 p.m. today. So I'm gonna head over there and I'm gonna go grab these new tools and see if they, uh, they work or not. So stay tuned. Amazon coming in clutch with the deliveries. Who else gets their packages just kind of thrown in random spots? Usually they throw my packages in front of the garage doors, so like you just run it over. But uh, let's head inside, let's get back in the barn, open this up, and I'll show you guys what I got. I'll throw the link in the description. So this is what I ended up going with. I'm assuming that's pronounced uh, Trezalto. I bought this on Amazon. It was 10 bucks and it came with all these tools here. Uh, if you guys see my one video where I broke a clip doing the driver's side mirror replacement, this would have came in handy. And then right here, any kind of like audio upgrades. And in today's case, I'm really hoping this helps with some prying. So we'll see how these work out. All right guys, hands down, do not try this without these tools. These tools just made this night and day difference. So what I initially was trying to do, 
I'll show you with this. As I was trying to come through these holes I had mentioned and come up, what I was trying to do is hit this tab right here. And uh, I guess it's a little easier to do now that I have the, uh, the badge out, but uh, it was nearly impossible. What I did is I slipped uh, this smaller tool in first and kind of held it. And I went in with this hook and just pried evenly all the way down. And this is what it looks like removed. So we did no damage to these clips or anything like that. Another thing I want to mention is a huge shout out to the guys at Money Shift Racing. Uh, if you guys are wondering what all this is, this is fluid film. Uh, those guys, I don't even know how they sprayed in here, but the more I take this truck apart, I just find fluid film and I'm like super happy with that. Where we live, if your truck's not coated in this stuff, it'll just rust out instantly. There you have it. So that's one side done. One last piece of chrome remains on this truck. So I'm gonna move to the other side and I'm gonna show you actually what it takes to pry this out. Uh, now that I have the technique, uh, I'll set up on the other side and I'll show you guys how simple it is. Yeah, so here's the process. I'm using the smaller wedge. I'm gonna get underneath the badge from the side of the badge that has the 5.7 liter side on it. So we're gonna go under here. I'm gonna get this just up enough. Once it's up, I'm gonna take the hook. And I'm gonna go under and I'm gonna pry down. Uh, before you guys do that, make sure this whole area is clean. Uh, if you have any kind of like debris or anything, you don't want this plastic tool to scrape uh, sand across your paint and scratch your clear coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area and I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll show you guys what it takes. And that's emblem number two with all tabs still intact. So next, same thing as the other side. I'm gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna drop the new emblem in. I'm gonna drop the hood and show everybody what the truck looks like with everything all replaced. So the way these tabs are set up, I'm gonna put the top in first slide it into place, make sure it's aligned left and right, and snap it in. Easy as that, guys.
that's a wrap on the install guys so the rear emblem like i said earlier i'm sure if you had removed these before you could probably save it but uh, i would rather waste a replaceable badge than my truck so i did the old overheat method and crimped it these badges here uh, are 100 percent reusable so if any of you guys need these or you want to try experiment with painting them message us on instagram at so uh, just drop a dm and we'll get, that's the best way to get a hold of us if you're interested in these but uh, if you guys haven't already subscribe to us on youtube and for all you guys that want to buy some merchandise you can go to so gen.com we have our website up supplies are very limited on the shirts and hoodies but the decals, we actually make those in-house so we can make any color, any size, or any options you guys need. But that's all I got for you guys tonight. Peace.